Some folks say you can't stop it, and here's what I say, they're wrong. We have stopped it, we can stop it, we'll continue to stop it. Colorado has a really interesting program, it's called Safe to Tell. It's an anonymous tip line. But it's a tip line with a difference. Um, when you think about tip lines, often people come up with crime stoppers, right? You guys have crime stoppers? But crime stoppers is a prosecution tool, what to do after the event has occurred. Safe to Tell has an outreach program to get into schools, to talk to kids, to break that code of silence. They do a little more than that. After they get a tip, they send it out, they demand that a disposition report is made. And what does that mean? It means that the tip gets followed up on. They can also measure results. Here's why it's important. Secret Service did a study. And in 81% of these active violence cases, somebody knew in advance. It was safe to tell they've intervened in over 1,500 bullying interventions. They've taken nearly 300 weapons out of schools, some of them schools with metal detectors. In over 800 cases, they've intervened in a suicide attempt. And in 28 cases, They've intervened where they found plans, weapons, hit lists, and sometimes explosives in planned school attacks. Now, Safe to Tell started out as a result of the Columbine Commission. And they started out their first year with less than 100 calls. But they grew their outreach. They grew their, their communication with teens, with kids. Since then, they fielded over 10,000 calls, 2,000 calls last year alone. It's a unique program in the country but it's become very effective. 